Put yourself in the, in the shoes of an undecided voter who says, I don't have a job, right. I can't pay my bills. My life isn't better. My life isn't better under President Obama. Why should that person vote for you? Uh, look, I, I hear from folks all the time who are still struggling. Uh, even if they have a job, they uh, are still having a tough time paying the bills. Uh, their home may be underwater uh, because uh, the housing bubble burst. Um, they're still worried about saving for their retirement. And so uh, I'm the first one to say that we're not where we need to be. Uh, what I'd say to that voter, though, is uh, who's more likely to fight for middle class families to make sure that they've got long term security? Uh, is it going to be Governor Romney and his proposals that mirror uh, the kinds of proposals that got us into this mess in the first place? That uh, led to some of the slowest growth we've ever seen, jobs being shipped overseas, middle class wages and incomes declining, uh, culminating in this disastrous uh, economic crisis. Uh, or is it going to be a president who uh, is interested in making sure that college is affordable for uh, that voter's kids, that is bringing manufacturing back, that is interested in creating jobs in the cre clean energy sector? And that's the choice that I think that voter uh, is going to be confronted with. Uh, we aren't where we need to be. Everybody agrees with that. But Governor Romney's policies would make things worse for middle class families and offer no prospect for long term uh, opportunity for those striving to get into the middle class. And the policies I'm offering are ones that have been proven in the past uh, to help middle class families uh, achieve their dreams. You just framed it as a choice, and of course we've heard that from you in your campaign mm -hmm. for months. But what about the person who basically says, I, you know, I gave him a chance, mm -hmm. uh, I hired him, I'm not happy, uh, I, I, I might fire him. I mean, don't people make decisions that way and then decide, uh, let's give the new guy a chance? You know, if they uh, saw Governor Romney offering serious proposals that offered some sort of concrete ways in which middle class families would be helped, uh, then I could understand them thinking about that choice. But that's not what's happening. Uh, you know, let's be very concrete about uh, a problem that we all agree uh, needs to be resolved, and that is uh, the deficit and the debt. Uh, now, this didn't happen overnight. It happened because we had uh, tax cuts that weren't paid for, two wars fought on a credit card. Uh, and then a massive economic crisis. Uh, what I've said is let's reduce our deficit and debt in a balanced, sensible way. Let's make sure that 98% of families, folks making $250,000 a year or less, uh, aren't seeing their taxes, uh, their income taxes go up a single dime next year. Uh, and I've said to the Republicans, I'm ready to sign that bill tomorrow. Uh, Governor Romney's approach is to cut taxes, $5 trillion, but because so much of the benefit goes to wealthy individuals, uh, independent analysts say that's going to cost middle class families an extra $2,000 in tax burden. So you, you've got a very clear choice for that voter. Uh, I've got somebody who's willing to keep my taxes low at the same time as he's able to help me afford sending my kid to college and uh, is going to continue to invest in things like uh, advanced manufacturing and change the tax codes so we're not giving tax breaks to companies that are shipping jobs overseas, but instead give those tax breaks to companies that are building in Cleveland and Pittsburgh and uh, Raleigh and uh, throughout the United States. And you've got a guy who will end up costing me an extra $2,000 in taxes to give breaks to folks who've already done very well. And uh, you know, in that circumstance, I think the average American is going to say, I want somebody who's on my side fighting for me, thinking about me. It doesn't mean that folks are going to be satisfied with the pace that we're on. Uh, people are going to want to see it accelerated. And frankly, we would be in a stronger position if uh, the proposal I put forward almost a year ago uh, that had uh, provided help to states to rehire teachers and firefighters and police officers and put construction workers back to work rebuilding our roads and our bridges 
if those proposals had been put in place, we'd have an estimated additional million jobs. And, and the problem we've got right now is uh, you've got a Republican Congress uh, that is closely aligned with Governor Romney's perspective that is blocking some of the progress that we could be making.